The debate over wearing masks in San Diego is heating up. One day after county officials announced masks were recommended indoors again. Today, the California Department of Public Health also recommended that everyone wear a mask indoors regardless of vaccination status. From local businesses changing their mask policies to the fight over masks in schools and what local officials are saying about a mask mandate. We have team coverage tonight. Fox 5's Kelsey Christensen starts us off live from Encinitas with the uncertainty from businesses. Kelsey. Well, tonight we've really seen a mix up of some people wearing masks, some people not indoors. Many businesses still not requiring people to wear masks, masks whether you're vaccinated or not to go inside their business. But now we're seeing more signs like this pop up. Some businesses not requiring masks for customers inside, sometimes even staff, and they're playing it safe. Here at Headlines, the salon in Encinitas, it's the first day masks are required for everyone who walks through the door. I haven't had any resistance. Owner Gail Fulbright says staff have warmed up to the idea too. First reaction is like, ugh. And then when we explain that we're doing it for not only the safety of them, but we're doing it for the, the respect of their guests, they're like, no, you know, you're right. And the last thing they want to do is be shut down and close down and go through all that over again. Fulbright says universal masking in the salon is more of a precaution. Last thing she wants is an outbreak as the highly contagious Delta variant spreads across the globe. I've talked to some other salon owners in San Diego and honestly, we're all feeling the same way. We're in such close contact with our people that it just makes sense. UCSD professor Robert Schooley says universal masking could mean serious progress for the county as a whole. He studies how public health interventions affect COVID-19 transmission rates and says models show universal masking throughout San Diego County could cut transmission rates by about 80 percent. So that's the kind of level we're talking about. It's a really important contribution when viral transmission rates in the community are high, which they are in San Diego right now. But it's important to remember San Diego County is currently only recommending masks in indoor public spaces, not mandating it, meaning it's up to business owners if they want to require masks indoors. I think that at Good Anya, we're just going to do with what the mandate is, is what we've done all along with COVID. We follow the mandates. If we kind of believe in people's individual decision to take care of their bodies in all respects, so we're not going to be policing our customers. Owner of Good Anya, Chris Buchanan, says they're sticking with the honor system when it comes to vaccination status. Plus, she says masks in restaurants don't work that well anyways. To be quite honest, it was a bit of a joke anyway. They wore their mask for 15 seconds before they sat down and took them off. So a big takeaway tonight, whether you're vaccinated or not, if you plan to go indoor shopping, dining, whatever it may be in a public space, it's uh, probably best to bring your mask with you for the foreseeable future. We'll bring live from Encinitas tonight, Kelsey Christensen, Fox 5 News. Yeah, that'll save you a lot of aggravation if you just have it with you. Thank you.